Microsoft rolled out the November 2023 update for Power BI, and with it came a new cards visual. And it offers a lot of cool new features, all encompassed in the name of reference labels. Reference labels allow us to add more data to our cards and format it in different ways depending on the visualization that we want for our data. This means that now we can finally add more information to our data and not just focus on showing a big number. So today, let's dive deep into why you should be using cards as part of your report, what's new with the new updated card, what features are there still in the development for the future, and why you maybe shouldn't be waiting for the future because all of the features that you're waiting for are already here, already in Power BI with Zebra BI cards. So first, let's talk cards. I can think of quite a few reasons why cards can help your business communication. The first and most important one is probably highlighting your most important KPIs with visualizations. Cards excel at highlighting your most important metrics. This means that your readers will have no problem finding the most crucial information. And now with the new update, we can actually take a step closer to the IBCS guidelines and stop showing only big annoying numbers, but add context to them. This means comparing them to maybe previous year, your plan or other comparison measures. And of course, adding context is only one small piece in the whole puzzle, but at least we're getting there. If you want the whole picture, of course you have Zebra BI, but we'll talk about this a little bit later. The second one is clarity in communication. And cards can be very useful for this, as they can show your most important metrics without being overly complicated and helping your users really focus and understand the most important things very easily. The third would be an efficient use of your canvas. As one of the most important visualizations, usually, cards can have a lot of information in a very small space without really overwhelming the user. The last one is flexibility and interactivity. Going for interactivity, of course, just like any other Power BI visual, cards can be used to filter your data to gain a better understanding of your main KPIs. With flexibility, I'm mostly talking about that you can pretty much make almost anything you would like with the new cards, especially using the reference labels now. However, this can be a two-edged sword. You can see a lot of really cool things that people have done online, but they usually require a lot a lot of time, a lot of work and are very hard to upkeep or maybe are specifically made as a showcase but are not very usable or viable in a business scenario. Now that we're done with the theory, let's open up Power BI and let's see the cards in action. So as mentioned before, the new reference label allows us to give context to our big numbers. And the best way to do this is, of course, comparing them to our previous year, our plan or forecast or whatever other comparison that you might want. This is why I made this example, where you can see that we're taking our actual revenues and we're comparing them with previous year. The new reference label is made out of three distinct parts, the title, the value and the details. The title and value will have to do with the measure that you choose to present. For me, it's previous year. And with the detail, I think this is the one where we can put a little bit of magic in to show something like you see here. So an absolute and a relative variance for uh, the difference between our actuals and previous year. And the important part really is that we can format each of these individual parts, so the title, the value, or the details, differently. This means that in the end we can get something like this to show even more information more clearly to our users. However, one thing that is not to be overlooked is the amount of work that has to be put in to get to something like this. Although this representation does not look very advanced, I have to tell you that you have to use a little bit of an advanced DAX and also you need quite a lot of measures to create this. So first you will need a measure for your main number, then a measure for your reference number, and then a new measure for your details. And especially doing some details like this requires pretty complicated DAX like I mentioned before. This was the DAX that I had to use in my measure. While this feature is pretty great, it can take quite some time and knowledge to get the desired effect. 
And with other options like Zebra BI on the market, it's really hard to justify the cost of working on something like this for hours, especially if you haven't done it before, to mere seconds with Zebra BI is really hard. But we'll get to how Zebra BI can change everything in a couple of seconds. Let's now first just look at what Microsoft has planned for the future. And uh, then I'll show you how you can have everything you want right now. So looking at Microsoft's roadmap for the new cards visual, it's very apparent that trends and small multiple support are the things that are going to bring the biggest impact. Now, just like I promised you, you can have all of this already in Power BI with Zebra BI. Now let me show you and let me talk about why these things are important going forward and why you should get on the bandwagon right now. So first of all, let me show you how easy it is to create something even better than this with Zebra BI in mere seconds. So first of all, we input our cards. We put in our actual and our previous year measures and bam, that's it. We get a graphical representation and we also get absolute and relative variances for our visual without the use of any other measures. This is done completely automatic and without adding unnecessary measures to your data model. So I probably don't have to tell you how much Zebra BI enhances your storytelling, focusing on your performance, really driving into the questions of how are you doing, especially with your most important KPIs. Also, to show you how easy it is with a simple click of a button to change between absolute, relative or both variances right on your card without the need of any other DAX, clicking, measures or anything. And as you guys could probably see, we already have out-of-the-box support for graphical representation. So just this addition of the chart can bring new dimensions to your data, understanding the dynamics and the movement of your performance throughout time and giving even more insight on how you are performing. So this now is an effective use of your data canvas, giving your readers the most insightful information, allowing them for better decision making and actionable outcomes. And the best part here is that in the case that you don't want a graphical representation, you can suppress the chart and you can focus more on the visualizations around explaining the different KPIs, but still have all the relevant context for your numbers right there on the card. Okay, so this addresses trends, but did somebody say small multiples? Yeah, we do that too. Just take your KPI dimension and put it into the visual and now you have four or more different cards depending on the amount of KPIs that you have, all as single cards having the comparisons and the details that you would want from each one of them right on the card, but all contained into a single visual not hindering your Power BI performance at all. And now allow me to drive my point forward, showing you that Zebra BI cards are an important part of your next actionable report. So this is a template made completely from Zebra BI visuals using our cards, our tables and our charts. And you can see that the cards here are used just like we said, to give more meaning to our most important measures. But however, clicking and interacting with them give us even more details into how exactly everything is working. You can see that tables and charts add a lot of context to every number and just looking at terminations now, we can understand exactly where our problems lie. And this, this is the main part of actionable reporting. Looking at the report, gaining the knowledge of are we doing good or bad and where we have to work or put some action in to be better. So in conclusion, Microsoft is definitely heading into the right direction, giving us the ability to add more context to our big numbers. However, I don't think your business can wait as long as they need to roll out all the other features that you need to understand your data better today. That's why you should go and pull an ace out of your sleeve and download Zebra BI visualizations from the description below and start understanding your business like never before. Thank you for watching Data Wizards and allow your business to be great.